Welcome back, family. I want to share this revelation that the Lord was speaking to me the other day, and I believe that it's really going to be a blessing to you guys. Um, the Lord was showing me this, you know, how you make a cake. And for those of you who, who bake or you've seen other people bake cakes like this, so you poke holes after the cake is finished baking so that when you pour the icing or um, some type of sweetness it can go down inside of it and god was showing me this in just a random moment throughout the day and i praise god for those moments of revelation when he does that but he was saying this that a lot of you thank you lord a lot of you have been through these piercing moments in your life just like that cake okay and these have happened so that god can pour more revelation within you we know that God doesn't come in pieces. God doesn't come in parts, right? Um, but we have to be opened. We have to uh, be pierced and pricked in these ways to allow more of him to be developed, to be poured within us so that we can walk in more of who he is, really, more of who God is. And remember, walking in more of who God is, it shows up in various ways. Yes, we tend to think of, it, it shows up in ways of uh, the laying on of hands or of healings, of deliverances, those types of things. But it also can show up and it should be showing up in your everyday life, in your everyday waking moments. And that's why you can have moments where they're random, they're random moments of revelation because you've allowed the Holy Spirit to pour into you more and more and it's seeping down into those places. And if, if any of you have ever had a cake baked like that, I'm telling you, my mother used to make bunk cakes like that, even if it's little holes, little toothpicks. But the way I saw it, it was like if you take the end of like a wooden spoon and you poke those types of holes in it, then when you eat something like that, I'm telling you, it's so much better because you get all of that richness, all of that goodness really within the cake, not just sitting on top of it, okay? So that's how we're supposed to be. So these moments that you've been through, these moments that you've been through that have pierced you, they have pricked you, it's necessary. It has been necessary so that the Lord can really pour more revelation, more of the sweet goodness of who he is within you. All right. I pray that you receive this word. It's a beautiful word. Pray that you would receive it today. Allow the Holy Spirit to minister to you more and more. Spend time with him. I love you, family. Have a blessed day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.